Hello. Welcome. Welcome to my channel. It is an exciting day. As the title states, we are transforming my Mark 7 GTI today. And it's actually gonna be pretty wild. So let me let me just press preface some stuff for you. Okay, so this is what the rear end looks like right now. Uh, some clear tails with the car shop majestic plate frame, which is actually pretty rad. Um, and yes, my plate is crooked. Whoever installed the plates on this car drilled them terribly. And last thing that was me. That was a that was the first dealership in 2015. But as you can see, you buy cheap Amazon taillights. They crack. Now, I bought the car with these on. Didn't really have the option. I would have been fine with stock tails. But that didn't happen. So, my little friends over at... BMP Tuning. They make this nice little product. This is not a sponsored video. I'm just very excited. They make something that they call their seven and a half taillights. No. Those are seven and a half taillights. And that's what we're doing today. So we're gonna make the GTI look more modern, but a little bit more stock, which is good because I'm going for the whole sleeper vibe. Um, but I think the first thing we need to do is clean it. Um, I'm gonna try to buff some scratches. This thing could be heat um, between you driving it hard on back roads, taking trips, um, and then just parking like in the city. Um, like this is a fresh, this was there, this gnarly scratch. This is a fresh, and I might be able to buff it. If I can't, it's not the end of the world. Like I just drive the car, I don't wanna stress about that. The paint is actually terrible on this car already, but um, this car's not been actually like two bucket washed since my trip to Vermont. Um, so I put like over a thousand miles on it and I just not have not had the chance to wash it yet. Um, wheels are filthy. Oh, the boys, fish sauce. Um, everything's just disgusting. So we need to remedy that first because I don't want to put these nice taillights in my crappy car. I've been trying to figure out better plate frame hardware or plate hardware. I don't think the zinc is the way to go. I think I'll try to get some black bolts when I go. Um, also, if you saw the last video, I like blacked this whole thing out and removed the badge. I put the badge back on and then I just kind of left the black on the chrome strip. It looks pretty clean. So I think that's a good. All right, well, I guess I got very much cut off by my camera. I just stopped recording. Um, basically, we need to detail the car. We're gonna run to advanced auto, grab some detailing stuff. Um, first, I'm gonna top off the oil. And then I was gonna do something else. Shoot. I was gonna top off the oil. Oh, I was gonna, I'm gonna get a nut for the back of the um, downpipe V-band so it doesn't rattle loose. Um, yeah, so let's just put some oil in it and rip over and then we can get the car cleaned up. I just spent like a lot of money at um, Vance for all kinds of stuff. Um, and I'm gonna detail the car and then go from there. All right, well, for those of you wondering what clutch chatter on a Mark 7 sounds like, that's AC on, that's what it sounds like. Look, I actually have sparkle back in my paint. I clayed it. I I don't know a bit, but yeah, that's the chatter. It's bearable. Oh, my wheels are already dirty again. But that thing smells tasty. That's so sick. Mark two. All right, so this is all the stuff I got. Totally worth it. I got something. 
I hope these work. They're uh, prevailing. Shoot, I really hope that's... I hope these work. I just need a, something to put on the back of my downpack so it doesn't blow off. Um, I did a terrible job of cleaning my windows, but it's about the paint today. Um, now I'm going to rip home. Not rip. I'm going to drive. Drive home normally. And then eat something because I haven't eaten. And then watch a video. And then we're going to get into installing the taillights. It's not going to be a how-to video. Nobody watches those. I just look dumb because I don't know what I'm doing. But I will make a video about it. So, all right. <laughs> this has begun. This has begun. The insanity. So, if you guys, I don't know if I showed this before, but this is mainly why we're changing these clear tails out. I don't mind them. They're cool. They do look a little cheap. But um, clear tails are cool. Not a whole lot of people run them. So it's definitely going to sting a little bit not having them anymore. I like weird things. Um, they kind of match the vibe of the car, but at the same time, they don't at all. Um, so, stopped recording on the air there. Um, well, let me, let, me, let me show. There's subliminal messaging. It's genius. Um, that is a seltzer. Um, because I am not the one to partake in the adult beverages. Um, so yeah, not really, there's no reason to record, um, too much, but I think I'm just gonna throw the lights in. I'm gonna test them out just without the harness, like, wiring. And then, I just watched the video, I did not realize it was so much, like, pinning stuff for the dynamics, but I think I am gonna just do it, um because I really would like them and I have the time now, so I should just not be lazy and do it. Okay, so I just got the first one in. It took a little bit longer than it should have, but it also looks very good. Um, but I, I know the previous owner, so I don't dislike him, but I was thinking volume number three of why you hate previous owners, they put weird taillights on, they do weird things. This was like a, thread adapter. I could not get the stupid taillight to go in because it was smacking this. I didn't know, realize that. So like these taillights have a different thread pitch than factory. So I don't, I don't get that, but I'm doing this one now. It's installed. Um, car already looks filthy again, but it's okay. I love the way these things look. Um, I've decided not to do the dynamic tails for a while because it's a lot. I did put on the OG plate frame. Um, nothing against, nothing against uh, car shop majestic, but um, the orange is just a lot. And I probably will throw it back on for Halloween or something, but um, I got it because I thought it was cool, and I mean, it is cool, but I'm just gonna, I'll find a different car to run it on. I gotta buy another car to run another plate on, so. Um, yeah, I'm just, that's about it for the video. I just, these things look sick. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, I'm stoked on where the car sits right now. This is probably the last modification before I go to college, and um, it's pretty awesome how far it's come, and uh, I'm, I plan to keep making content as much as I can, and thank you for watching everything. So, uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Sorry, I'm tired. Alright. Bye-bye.